Hey, it's 12.15 a.m. Christmas morning. I celebrate Christmas. Christmas Eve. I always have. My family, or some of them, are Polish Catholic. And Polish Catholics celebrate. Christmas Eve. So my Christmas has just finished. And I have just sat down with a beautiful cup of tea. I'm just going to put my candle on because I like to do videos with the candle. something about candles that just relaxes me and if you don't mind I have a cup of tea here and I'd like to enjoy it while we chat do you mind my favorite things the dark And the sanctity of being alone after a big day. The funny thing is that your Christmas has probably not begun yet. And mine has ended. In the next few days we can have New Year's Eve. Don't you think that is just amazing how time is rushing past? But I suppose what we need to focus on is valuing time as it passes. Time picks its own rate, but no matter how fast it passes, we can still choose to be in that moment. Christmas is interesting, isn't it? May I? May I share parts of my day with you? Thank you. I do enjoy talking to you. I do enjoy the time we spend together. Oh, I feel relaxed as I talk to you. It's so relaxing. And I really enjoy your letters, each and every one. I got up really early this morning. I got up about quarter past five in the morning. And then I met my friend at 6 a.m. Victoria. And we did some weights. Victoria always writes the program for me and she thinks of some really wild exercises and I always feel that the session is really difficult and I watch the clock tick tock tick tock wishing the session would be over <gasps> so we did our wait session this morning and then at the end, she gave me some amazing presents. Little handmade puddings with icing and tiny little leaves at the top. And she gave me a bottle of wine and lots of other things. And that's the way I started my day at 7 a.m. I had so much to do. I wrote a list. Christmas Eve 
This year we were spending Christmas Eve at my brother's in the city. It's so lovely to get together as a family. I love my family. And I particularly love seeing my parents. My mother, she's such a force. She's such a strong character with strong opinions. I guess she's like the matriarch of our family. And then my dad, he's the most amazing person from Poland, Warsaw. He immigrated out to Australia and ended up really carving out his own journey. I really look up to him. He says the wisest things in the world. And he's madly in love with my mother, which is just so, so lovely to witness. When I was much younger, we used to go to the shopping centre and he used to shout across the aisles, several aisles, he would shout out, I love you, I love you. And she would say, be quiet, how embarrassing. <laughs> and he still says all the time, I love her so much. He's not well now. Not well at all. He's the most amazing man. So brilliant. And I love him so much. Anyway, back to my story. This morning I went shopping. And it was like when I was trying to find a car park. Like it was an ant nest and all the ants were going crazy running in and out of the nest. But it's funny Christmas because everyone gets manic and gets faster and faster and more and more hectic and round and round they go. And it's almost like a mouse and a little treadmill. Y you sort of stop and wonder what is it all about? Why do we do this to ourselves? Why do we get so wound up in Christmas? Why do we put so much effort into buying presents and preparing food and the mandatory overeating at the main meal and then we all feel a little bit sick? Why do we do it to ourselves? And every single year it's the same. When I was shopping this morning, I looked at the people. Not just looked as you pass by, but looked deeply into their faces. I stopped thinking about the salads and the dessert and the drinks and the presents. And I started inhaling people's faces. They were so busy walking this way and that. Do you know that most of them had a frown upon their face? They were so rushed with their frown upon their face. And I tried to read their lives. And some of them looked so sad, or so worried, or so consumed, perhaps bad tempered. And I wondered about the spirit of Christmas, because I knew I was like one of those ants racing in and out of the ant hill thinking about the piece of food I carry upon my back. Whereas, what should we be focusing upon? What should Christmas be about? Relationships.
relationships, love, commitment, forgiveness, acceptance. Is that what it's about? What is Christmas for you? For you, what does Christmas mean? Some of the people today look truly sad. Do you know, at Christmas, the rate of suicide, the rate of marriage breakup, the rate of conflict or domestic violence escalates. Why is that? Why do we as a society, at times of festivity, at times of celebration, why do we enter into conflict? Why is that? And how can we stop? I wonder, I wonder what would happen if we stopped buying gifts. I wonder what would happen if every Christmas each of us invited one homeless person into our home to eat with us. I wonder what would happen if we devoted all the money we usually use for Christmas and gave it to this person experiencing homelessness. I wonder what would happen. I wonder if we used all the time we devote to preparing for Christmas, to helping this person write a resume, write cover letters, counselling, helping them find a home, helping them find work. I wonder, I wonder what would happen if we changed Christmas a time where we devoted to one person who has been marginalized or disadvantaged and we devoted ourselves to helping them. What do you think? In the Polish culture on Christmas Eve they always set one extra plate at the table for someone does not have a home to come and sit and eat. I think that's a lovely idea. I wonder how much of our discontentment and our unhappiness comes from our desire for quick fixes, the self-medication of food, gambling, bright lights, purchases, shopping. I wonder what would happen if we devoted Christmas to one person suffering marginalization and we spent Christmas in prayer, in meditation, in personal reflection. Hmm, I got all my shopping, I came home and our food. The children were so excited. They handmade some glass containers and decorated them and we put chocolates and lollies inside them for gifts. And there was so much laughter, so many giggles, so much mess. have dinner and oh the table looked fantastic and the tree and the wonderful conversation with my beautiful family. I love speaking to my brother, my sister, 
my other brother, my mum and dad and their partners, it was just wonderful. And my children are so happy, I love to see them happy. Are you happy right now? I so hope you're happy. I so hope that you are gaining some sense of happiness from Christmas. Do remember that I am thinking of you. I really am. And thinking about what you are doing right now. You are special to me. It was wonderful, just wonderful. And it just grounded me. At times I worry. I worry about finances or aging or not being in a relationship. And then I listen to my children giggle. And I know that life is wonderful. How are you? Are you okay? Are you with someone special? Or are you alone? I hope you're happy. What did you think of what I said? Do you agree that Christmas should others rather than consumption, shopping, eating, we should be focusing upon those in need. Oh, I so love this quiet. With every moment I sit with you tonight, I feel calmer. I do love your time. I do love sharing with I would so love to hear about your Christmas. I so love your comments. Is your Christmas from a certain culture? Do you spend it with someone special? Do you have any approaches to Christmas? Any philosophies? <sighs> Let's take this time to reflect. Let's just breathe in through the nose and out through the nose. And as we breathe, let's think about the real spirit of Christmas and how we can make this spirit tangible and real in our lives. Giving. Christmas in order to give to others? How can we adjust our attitude in order to be in a position to give, to acknowledge? Can we take the time to notice the life that people wear upon their face? Let's make Christmas a happier time. 
just love the sound of a flickering flame. Do you like the sound of a flickering flame? It's so calming. Mm. I wonder how the world would be if we changed our attitude to Christmas. I think that we need to slow down. I think that we really need to smell the roses, to walk in each step. I looked at myself tonight in my photos. said to me recently, the older we get, the more beautiful we get, because we wear the journey of our lives upon our features. Isn't that lovely? Hmm. I want you to relax now. Reflect upon the true spirit of Christmas. Soften your beautiful, beautiful face. Release your brow. That's it. Now I'm just going to, with my fingers, I'm going to stroke your brow very gently. Oh, so gently. Mm. 
as I stroke your brow. Relax. Let go. Feel your sense of self inside. You don't need to consume. You don't need to be accepted within society. You don't need a soul. Feel the energy of this sacred focus upon yourself. It's almost like fuel feeding you, feeding you, feeding you. I'm going to use circular motion now across your forehead. Mm. Slowly reflect upon it. Wow. And what you want from your life. Every action matters. Notice your body. Notice any parts of your body that hold residual stress. Almost like you're looking down upon your body. And go to those parts of your body. Thank you.